cold frame so I'll take you along and have a look in a minute but I need to put some plants on and put it in the cold frame um, but as as you know I've, I don't know what to say I'm just so tired <laughs> so what I've done right what I did what I did right is I cleaned the greenhouse out the other week took everything out but it's left us with no benches to put seedlings on so I've had to rethink of where I want to put the seedlings because as you know at this time of year you've got hundreds of seedlings I want to turn you around and I'll show you where I've been putting them if I can tip you that way so if you look there see there's like a, a glass sheet there glass window what I've been doing is just putting them underneath there but obviously it's not big enough to put everything in so when we got the when we got the plot I'll just turn you back around again hi hello so when we got the plot obviously we inherited a lot of things on it and I found these they were like metal metal frames for what I thought were a cold frame and up until recently I've been missing one part and I found the other part today so I thought right I'll try it put it together and in the box because it's the allotment that keeps on giving I found two what I thought were two massive sheets of polythene but they weren't they were just two huge massive bags or like the biggest pick and mix bags you've ever seen in your life so obviously I had to cut it into a strip I've put it over the top of the frame and it looks fantastic and on one side I've just put some of the netting we've got hang on some of this stuff just the um, scaffold netting and I've got tons of the stuff so I'll put some on one side and at the back it's not really closed off so the air can go through it and the plan is when everything gets potted up so we'll germinate everything in the greenhouse or at home when it needs potting up it'll go in there because there's just no room in the greenhouse and then we can just harden it off after that but it's um it's just nice to have that space to because I was panicking I thought I'm gonna have to because we've got a greenhouse frame outside that we need to put up but I need to clear the compost bay to put that frame in so that's why we're going to put the new the new greenhouse and like put that bay where the compost is but obviously I need to empty it out first and there's just tons of it and it's not quite ready so I need to figure out I need to move it along figure out what I'm doing with that um so yeah done that today I'm knackered but I'm going to have a cuppa because I can and you're not the boss of me so I'm going to have a cuppa and, and then I'm going to put up some more of these um seedlings I've got these ones here and I've got some more in the greenhouse mostly cabbages I've tried celery and I thought I hadn't done it again so this is like the third lot of celery I've tried to germinate it's just not having it uh, but I've got some in the greenhouse I've got like I think I can see three seedlings coming up so I'm just gonna run with it and have them so yeah I've got those to put on um, and then we've got some outside there so all that basically all that's gonna go into the new cold frame but I'm gonna pot up first well no I'm gonna have a cup of first pot up and then I'll take it and have a look and you can have a look see what I've been doing today I'm knackered shattered I usually get Kenko three in one sachets and they're lovely and I've just had some what is that? Mokate three in one it's not very nice would not recommend it I think I'll stick with water and get some of me Kenko for next time No, I'll not be putting a lot of the the vermiculite in this enough to add a bit of green in. Right. So it's uh, mostly cabbages I've got here. I've got some Brussels sprouts as well. But we've got... 
So I've got Red Drumhead, Kalaxi, Savoy and Oh, purple sprout and broccoli. I forgot I planted that. I've also got a rainbow chard. I've only got two. What's this one? Greyhound cabbage. They took forever to come up, surprisingly. And I've got Brussels sprouts. Wait, what's in this one? It is purple Milan turnip, cold rabi. And the celery, which I've already showed you, just hasn't come up. And I've got Milan purple turnip here, whole Robby, and me. <laughs> Can you see me little celery? Can you see them? Celery. There, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight. They're not very big, though. I've never grown celery before. Oh, hang on, nine. Ten. They just took forever to come through. Oh well, I suppose I have to leave them a bit longer. Right, crack on with this. But yeah, I've had a lovely, lovely day. It was um, just one of those days I needed to get loads done. Um, and James wanted to come up, that's my oldest son. But the last time he came up and made that massive mess, I've just had to tidy up. So I asked him if it was alright if he just um, stayed at home today with his daddy and his brother and then it meant I could come up and just get everything done today and then if he wants to come up tomorrow he can and he can just play and make a mess and that's okay but there's still a lot of weeding to do and I still need to clear that um, the compost bay because I need to move the, the frame for the new greenhouse into there just so it's out the way otherwise we won't be able to plant in that area but yeah loads of weeding still need to do, be done but yeah I'll pot up some of these and then I'll take you over and show you what I've been doing today. I'm quite pleased with it. it, just means I can get all these seedlings straight in there and just harden them off in there. And then when they're ready to plant out, they're already out there, so I'm just having to mess on in the greenhouse. The greenhouse is getting really full really quickly. Yeah, I think that should be all right. Right, and I'm using these trays. They're not brilliant, but they were like 75 pence from Morrison's. Five. So, and I know I'm going lots of the same thing, so it's just easier than using the smaller little trays because I usually I use like these, which are alright, they're just from the allotment shop, but if I can um, get the larger ones and that's all the better. I've got it about my coffee and wanted to get some more coffee. I was really looking forward to that cup. But I would not recommend whatever that was. Whoop. Right. Oh. right, what am I doing first? Oh. I want to do the rainbow chard. I was quite excited about that. I've never tried it before. Right. Right, I'm going to put some music on now, so I'm going to do like a speedy up thing because I need music on. my battery's gonna last so I'm gonna be quick so here we go there you go
And all I've done is we had this metal frame and it's obviously been designed for that purpose to be like a frame for a cold frame I'd put netting over the top and I found all of this um, polyste polystyrene polythene it's not polystyrene there all this polythene and all I've done is I've put it underneath the paving slabs and I've weighed it down with bricks but it's meant to, it's not meant to be permanent because I just um, I like the idea of being able to move everything around if I want to but it's so big I've got so many seedlings in there and it's just ideal and I love it so I've got all the seedlings and I'll be back up tomorrow to check on them so fingers crossed they'll be okay but yeah just um I told them I'll be back at like three o'clock it's like nearly I think it's five o'clock <laughs> but um but I've got loads done I'm just um watering everything at the minute but it's been it's been absolutely lovely today it's been so sunny um, so yeah, it's been really nice. But thanks for joining us and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be back up tomorrow to finish some more jobs off. Oh, I'm going to get wet. And then, whoa. But yeah. The end of Saturday. Mess. 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 Ah. <sighs> Beautiful. Bye. I'm trying to be artistic. Oh, it's looking a bit steamy in there. Ooh. Wow, it's so hot. The heat that's just come out of here. Wow, it's looking good. Let me see. Wow, yeah, that's looking good. Loads of water in here though. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that off for just a couple of minutes and then I'm going to put it back on again. I don't actually think they need water. Very good. Yeah. That sunflowers actually look better than they did yesterday. Yeah, happy, 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 happy. Happy bunny. Right, well I'm going to go now because I'm going to have a barbecue but I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>